Hi everybody, this is Bill Sienkiewicz at Folio Je Pernambuco. I'm having a wonderful time here in, in beautiful Recife. Um, I'm a comic book artist, mostly known for comic books, but uh, and a writer, artist for pretty much every company in the United States, but I also do illustration and work for movies, TV, uh, music, books, um, and sometimes I, I sleep occasionally. <laughs>So when I first started out with, uh, which was a character called Moon Knight in, in Marvel, um, that was important because that was my very first assignment. After that, my, my style began to change and so I went on to the New Mutants, and, uh, which was a highlight because I got the chance to ex explore and express different sides of my artistic interests. Um, and each, so each, each project I've chosen to work on has been a, um, uh, has had their own highlights. Um, and by highlights for me, I, it, I, it means a, a chance to explore and to have fun with something and do something I'd never done before. Well, I, think, I think part of the, especially, you know, I'm speaking strictly about the U.S. comics, where, which are mostly known for, um, they were thought of mostly as medium for children. So even the superheroes, you know, even not like uh, Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse or ch children's comics, but even the superhero comics were aimed at a much younger uh, readership. But uh, for years, they, they were telling stories and there was a very specific look to the comics. I loved comics when I was growing up. I read them all the time, but I also fell in love with art. And um, which meant that I got very much interested in uh, impressionism or abstract expressionism or um, collage film. A uh, big fan of David Lynch, director, um, Eraserhead, Blue Velvet. Um, and so uh, even fashion drawing in, in, in magazines or newspapers, very elongated figures. and. Uh, I remember thinking, well, I want to try some of that in comics. And uh, years ago, when I first started doing it, when I was, I was married at the time, I remember talking to my wife and showed her my sketchbooks. I said, all of these things, I'm in my sketchbook, I want to put them in comics. You know, and she said, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, and everybody that I showed, you know, were like, that's not, that's not how you do things in comics. But so I met, I was met with a lot of resistance, but no one could give me any specific reason why they didn't do them. They just didn't do them. And so to me that wasn't a good enough reason. If they said if you if you actually draw things like that then the the printing presses will like explode. You know, it's like it, nothing like that happened. It was just simply you know, was not done. It's uh, a little bit like saying, you know, this is this is how you make you know meatloaf, or this is how you make you know uh, enchiladas, or something, or or you know salads, or whatever. It's like this is the way we've always done it, and this is the way we're always going to do it. And I so I came in, and I realized <clears throat> I just wanted to do things that interested me, or I was going to leave. I was I, it's like I needed to either do what I, I wanted to do with comics and art, with uh, well, I was working with with. Uh, creators like Frank Miller and uh, Chris Claremont and Neil Gaiman. Um, it's, uh, what can you say? It's like they're, they're the best, you know, they're, they're so incredibly talented. They're, I love them, they're good friends. It's like, so I'm incredibly fortunate to know them personally uh, and develop like a brotherhood with them. And, uh, you know, as a friend, we, we, we see each other grow up, you know, and go through life, which as well. and, and uh, we, t we have sometimes very similar interests in our love of comics, but we also have different life experiences. And um, with each of them, uh, with Frank, with Elektra Assassin and Love and War, and uh, we may be doing some, something else coming up together, which will be very exciting. Ciao, Recife. <laughs>